It's the day of the eliminations, only a few hours to the moment of truth. Nevertheless, the girls bask in their transformation courtesy of Gabriella's cosmetics. And she like at all, like a actual Barbie doll. Like, like, I, I, like, I like, like a princess? <laughs> wow. Ah. Wow. Ah. Got it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> My nose, I feel like Rudolph. Okay. You know, like Santa Slay Rudolph, the shiny. Oh, Jesus, you put it on TV, aren't you? The night of eliminations was really exciting. Um, it was hectic backstage because all the girls were getting ready. We only had like three makeup artists, so we had some girls kind of prepping themselves. Number two, where's everybody? I've been screaming at you since 6.30, let's go! 10 minutes of showtime. Some girls just disappear because of uh, whatever reason, you know what I'm saying? You know, it's usually for a bathroom break, and when they talk about the bathroom break, it's, it's nervousness setting in. Nobody should be coming, everybody should be out here! Number six. Seven. She's not in the building as yet. Not yet, me not yet. Yeah. I, I was visible upset, they were, didn't, want to, didn't really want to go overboard still, because I know it's a competition, this is a do or die situation for these girls. Because I was around there in the back, my hands are sweating on stuff, and I'm like, Oh my god, please let me be in the top 20 mm -hmm. just like this. Hey, anybody nervous? <laughs> you have different energy now. Are you nervous or anxious? It's different. Nervous. You're anxious. You're anxious. That's good. That's how the ending really was like just center yourself, just focus. You need to remember why you are here. You are present for a reason. God has placed you here for a reason. You, you stay focused. Tunnel vision. Alright? Enjoy it. <laughs> just know what to say when to say it she just like she hit the nail right on the head she know just exactly what to say <laughs> first person they called. I was actually sitting down like in a chair and like because we just came off the stage and I just sat down and they were like Peter Gay Simpson I was like what? Natalia Leon. I was excited but for some reason when I go on there I just I feel most at ease. I think it's more nervous when you're backstage but when you go up there and you see the lights and you're just yourself and you're free of yourself for real it's I don't know, I, I have more fun that way. Last minute, I was rethinking, oh my God, why did I enter this competition? I'm a dancer. Christina Gonzalez. And when I heard my name, I was just, oh my God, really. Like, I just felt like within me that I knew that they were going to call me. And because it's top 20, and I realized that I had a good, I have a good chance in this competition. And so when they called my name, I wasn't really surprised, but I was happy and I was excited and I was thankful. Jamila Geddes. I felt happy, of course, as everybody is. Then I said, well, this is where the work starts. Debbie Lee Baker. When I heard that I was chosen in the top 20, now that was very exciting for me. Hey. Yende said, our next contestant starts with the letter T. And I swore it was me. <laughs> but it wasn't. It was, um... Toshida Francis. Contestant number 13. Me Timothy. I knew I would be called in the top 20 day award, but if I'm called in the first 10, then that means I'm here for a purpose. And I will take my navel ring out and never put it back in. Yes, Lord, this is it. Won't let you down. Taking the person out for good. And the person went, floops, away. Patricia Nunes. If you had like x ray vision and you could see through the walls, you would see me running through it. Um, I was very excited because I thought I was very fat and I thought I was so old. So maybe I wouldn't have gotten a chance. So, of course, when I heard my name, I was like, is that really my name? And when they called my name again, it was like, that's really my name. So I was like, running. And finally, I got called. <laughs> Tamara Cox, contestant number 24. So I started doing a little dance around the back, and then I got composure, and I walked out on the stage. 
Oh, deal it back. Pink house pile 12. And that felt like a freaking long time. It felt like I was on the before me. That's what it felt like. Hey, they reached 20. And uh, then I heard the NDC say that um, the next person was a single digit. I just gave up. I said, hmm, maybe somebody else. <laughs> she is contestant number eight, Natasha Brown. And I heard it and I was like, oh, Yannick Grizzle. I didn't lose hope. I thank God for the opportunity to make it to the final. She didn't call my number. What she said that this girl is the tallest of the bunch. I was like, then I just heard screams. Someone screamed and she thought it was me, but it wasn't. Someone screamed because I was, and then they shoved me out. I couldn't even walk. The girl shoved me out and said, Go, that has to be you. You are contestant number nine, Katie Ann Summer. That whole just sitting there and anticipating, not knowing if you were gonna, you know, get caught or not, that was the worst part. And when I heard my name, all I could do was like run on stage. That's all I did. It's a Fronia McKenzie. Coming up on Making Miss Jamaica Universe. Final spot in Miss Jamaica Universe 2011. All the girls were listening. They're like, my name next. My name next. 